right everybody, we're back. We're gonna go on a camping trip tonight. We've got myself, got our chauffeur, Spencer in the back seat, Kyler in the back seat, and Emily in the back seat. So we're gonna go see if we can fit five of us in our uh, monster lodge, and uh, then we're gonna uh, see what we can do with that. I think what we're gonna do, because we can't fit the wood stove in there with five of us in there, so we're gonna put a, uh, uh, we're gonna get our generator and we're gonna put a uh, space heater in there to heat it tonight. And we're gonna see if we can stay warm that way. So when we get to our camp spot, we'll check back with you and uh, show you how we're gonna set that up. All right guys, so we made it to our camp spot. We're gonna get our tent set up, get everything unloaded, and then I'll show you what we've got. It's not too cold right now, but it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. It's supposed to get um, down to about uh, 12 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's about 37, 38 now, so it's not too bad out here. The sun's shining, it feels pretty good. We're gonna get this truck unloaded, get our tent set up, and then we'll show you around. We got the monster lodge all set up. Now we just gotta stick her down. So if the wind comes up, it doesn't go bye-bye. We're giving that responsibility to Josh. All right, so we got the old monster lodge set up over here. Have been a little more level but it's not bad our heads will just have to go on this side on the inside we've got just one of the cots set up we got to put four more in here so we wanted room to move around and sit until it's time to go to bed so we're just going to leave all the bedding right here and that way we can set our chairs and stuff up over here we're going to put the computer up there and watch some movies because we're glamping. We've got our cord coming in down here for our generator, which is going to run our space heater. And uh, we're going to keep warm in here tonight. We're going comfortable. Usually I like the wood stove, but when you have this many people, there's not room for it. You can see we've got our generator over here. Shouldn't be too loud. It's a pretty quiet generator, so it should be fine. And then we got the kids over here building us a fire pit because the previous ones that were here are pretty destroyed. So we're going to build a fire pit right here. We'll get a fire going and we're going to cook up some steaks. Now twist the knife. All right, Spencer's getting our firewood ready for us.
Okay, so I'm gonna start a fire here for our steaks. And there's getting a bit of a cold breeze, so we're getting a bit cold. So I'm gonna start it. Just got a cotton ball there with some Vaseline on it. That's the easiest way. Get up in the middle of it. There you go. You can do it right there. It don't matter. Wherever it's at. There you go. Well, just take your other part and get it off. It won't get you. Okay, now put those wood shavings on it. These ones, yep. Put a whole bunch on there. Hurry. Yep. Buy them all on there. They'll get going. Okay, let it burn for just a second. Okay, now put a couple of the bigger pieces. Like... This. What a fire builder, huh? Good job. All right, we're gonna let our fire get going so we can get our steaks going. We gotta get some good coals. Head covered. He's cold. Josh chillaxing. Spencer chillaxing. Are you warm? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, guys. We've got our grill here. We're cooking these over the fire tonight. So that's the only way to have them when you're camping. Listen to that sizzle. Okay, so we're just gonna let this cook up. Hopefully we'll get a good medium rare. I don't have a thermometer, so we're just gonna do our best guess here. So we're gonna let this cook and then we'll get the other one cooked up. Yep. Got us some pastaroni we're gonna cook up over here to go with our steaks. A little garlic parmesan cheese. So we're gonna get that going. All right guys. We got power down here, we got our space heater in here. We're gonna get heated up in here. So that generator will run about four hours with the heater running. So we got some extra fuel there. If we have to get up and put more fuel in it, we will, but we're gonna stay warm. Now look at that steak. I'm not supposed to poke them to turn them, but we're gonna. Oh, that's looking good. That nice crust we got on there. Sun's just setting over there. Give you a view of our camp here before it gets dark. Zoom out here. Fire the truck there. Monster Lodge over here. This is some good glamping we got going on here tonight. Ready to relax and just have a good time. Okay, we're gonna see how we did on this steak here. I'm gonna cut her open without trying to cut through our paper plate. Good. So when you cut a flat iron steak, it even has instructions on the on the package. You want to cut it this way across because that's against the grain. I'm going to give this a try here. It's a good steak. We're going to get this cut up and eat. We've got chips, pastoroni, 
We're just gonna eat some good food here. All right, we gotta get the synopsis from the crowd. What do you think, Josh? Good. What do you say, Kai? Delish. Spencer? I say that it's good. It's a good steak? Yeah. What about you, Mimi? <laughs> it's great. It's premium. <laughs> I agree. It's premium. Yep. We're going to enjoy our dinner, clean up this mess, and then we're just going to relax. Or, as I like to say, chillax. Alright guys, so we sat around all evening, watched some YouTube, watched some movies. I don't know how well you can see here. I'm on lights. Oh, there So anyway, we're transforming her into sleeping mode here. This is going to be wall-to-wall -wall cots by the time we're done. And uh, we'll get us all fit in here. I'll show it to you when we're finished up. All right, guys. I don't know. It's kind of dark on the camera. What a but I think you can see all right. You can see here we officially have five people with cots in here. Wall-to-wall -wall people. We've got the buddy heater down here in case our generator fails. Got our electric heater over there with the generator running. And we're hopefully going to get a good night's sleep. So we're going to sign out. On, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Alright guys, so good morning. We're just waking up here in the tent. We had a pretty good night's sleep. Nobody froze. Everybody stayed warm. As far as the electric heat goes, it only kept the tent about 20 degrees warmer than it was outside, and it was got down to about 12 degrees last night Fahrenheit. And so, um, I don't think I'll be doing the electric heat thing again. We did have to. I, t I did turn the buddy heater on a couple times to help warm it up a bit, twice, and then this morning we have the buddy heater on. Because, like I say, it'll only be about 32 degrees in here right now if it wasn't for the the buddy heater. The buddy heater will heat it up to 70, 80 degrees. We just wanted to try something different. Now we know um, that little space heater with the generator, um, it's all right. Keeps you from freezing. If it was a little warmer, it'd be great. But for the temperatures we were at last night, probably wouldn't do that again. So anyway, we're gonna get some breakfast going and get this place cleaned up. We made it through the night. We got some serious condensation in this tent though. This many people in here. It was frozen to the roof and now it's unthawing. It's starting to drip off. What do you think of the uh, electric heat option, Josh? <laughs> well, kept us from freezing. Yeah. yeah, it kept us from freezing. Everybody's up and moving. We're gonna get this place picked up and get some breakfast made. Get things okay. picked up in here so we can do that. Bag folded. Mm. All right. get you We're in the process of getting everything picked up here so we can get some breakfast going. You can see we're wall to wall. I'm standing against the far wall and have about six inches to stand. So get this picked up, bring the table back in so we can get our, our uh, breakfast going here. <laughs> all right, so we got her all cleaned up in here. Ready to cook some breakfast. We got our kitchen set up over here. Stoves on. Oh, somebody's in my photo. Oh. So we got our stove going over here. Probably need to turn that down a little. We'll crack a window open so we don't get too much bacon smell in here. We're going to have some bacon and some French toast. Alright, guys, so we got our homemade bacon here. I'll have a video up on my channel before long on how to make your own bacon. If you want to know how to do that. Homemade bacon is far better than store-bought bacon. I hope this will come apart. Even though it was in the cooler last night with no ice, it's still a little bit frozen. It wasn't frozen when I put it in there, so it tells you how cold it was. We're going to get this bacon cooked up, and then we'll get our or uh yeah french toast cooked up and we're gonna eat some good breakfast here this morning 
So I got this window partially open so we get rid of some of our smoke and bacon fumes here. And uh, you can hear the ice falling off. But we had a ton of condensation in here last night with five of us in here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this cooked up and uh, we'll check back with you here in a few minutes. All right, so Spencer wants some hot chocolate, so we're going to get some water warmed up for hot chocolate here. You going to dump it in there? Mm-hmm. the whole thing. Okay, Spencer over here. We don't know what he's doing. And <gasps> the grub. So, that's attacking Tyler's over there. In the truck. The hot spot on his phone. We're getting the old grub cooked up. We got our dual fuel campsite 424. Tell you about this stove. I purchased this on uh, local classifieds. 25 bucks uh, just for something to put inside the tent that I can cook on. Say I leave this here window open, give us a little air vent, all our steam's going out that way. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to just sit in here and cook and have the room to do that. So, yeah, we're going to get this breakfast cooked up. Here, Kyler has emerged from the truck. He's having trouble with this phone. See the concern in his face. Look that sizzle. Perfect sizzle. Alright, this is our area over here. Some rando over there. We got Timmy the truck. Generator that kept us warm. Okay, Spencer's so gonna pour this stuff in here. Alright, we have Emily over here. She's about ready to drink it. We gotta get everybody in on this hot chocolate making thing. It's a pretty extensive <laughs> process. Take over Spencer's roll over here. Mmm. Mm. You liking that bacon idea? <laughs> bacon yeah, or man. hot chocolate? Both. You, did you get cold last night, dude? I had to bury my head under the. You know. In your sleeping bag? Yeah. Did that keep you warm? Yeah. But that's it? You didn't get cold otherwise? Yeah. That's good. Just Let's like have a nice warm well, sleeping one. bag then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> a little butter in the pan here. A lot of butter in the pan here. Alright, we're going to get our French toast going. Sizzle. This good sizzle. It's gonna be some good toast. Burn. All right, Emily's French toast is all ready. Look at that. Does it get any better? I say not it does not. It's all right, not. next one on. Get the more butter in there. I mean, you gotta have butter with French toast. Try 
turn this down just a little. We got our cooking now. You gotta get a first taste from her video. Hey, whoops. Wait, right now? Yeah. I'm not really doing well, You can't eat it and then do it. It's a first taste. No. Just like French toast. Alright, now we're going ladies first and then youngest to oldest. So Spencer's the youngest. So he eats first. I don't like that idea. Nobody cares what you like. <laughs> <laughs> you want some bacon? Sure. How many? Um, one more. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all the bagel. Good guys. <laughs> Tastes like French toast. Yeah. Just about. Man, no. What's your IQ, Josh? Well, I was too lazy to get up, so we're gonna do it sitting down. We got Kyler's French toast done. We'll see what he thinks of it. You want any of that famous bacon there? Sure, I'll get a strip. Alright, now you gotta let us know what you think of it. Okay, let me just hurry and pour some syrup on there. That's enough. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, just trying to get enough on there so it covers most of the toast. Yeah, you're Alright, <laughs> All right, now I need a a fork. And it appears we're all out. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. Cycling. Let's see. Mmm. Really good. Passes the test. Yeah. It passed the Kyler test. We've really accomplished something. Yeah. <laughs> Kyler's a pretty picky eater, eh? Along with his little brother Spencer. Yeah, Alright, so we got our French toast here. I'm gonna try this out, see if it tastes like French toast. It's good stuff. Homemade bacon. And a nice frosty cold snack. Alright, you can't beat breakfast when you're camping. So now we're just going to sit back, chillax, and have a cold snack. That's how you do it. Chillax, relax, and chill at the same time. It's nice and warm in here now. Everybody's just kind of hanging out. We've all ate breakfast. We're pretty full. So. We're gonna hang out till we get tired of doing that and then we'll pick this place up and get out of here We're gonna let the Sun hit it a bit and get rid of this condensation so that we don't have to fold it back out when we get home You can see the condensation on the windows here It's pretty severe So we're gonna let the Sun hit it for a couple hours and dry out and Then we'll pack up and get out of here All right, guys, so this is the generator we used last night Put it about 50 feet away from the tent. It's pretty quiet, so we didn't hear it too much. It's a uh, model Kippur KGE 3000. So powered that electric heater. It kept it, uh, like I say, about 20 degrees warmer in there. But I don't think I'll be doing that again. It's not my preferred method for heating the tent. The buddy heater or the wood stove worked way better. But I'm going to do several videos with a bunch of different ways trying to heat a hip hot tent. And we'll see what we All right, guys, we're going to get this tent taken down. We'll show you how quick that goes. Josh is going to get the stakes out. Then we'll get it folded up.
All right guys, so we just finished cleaning up here. We got all the garbage picked up. Got the wood pile moved. Leave some here for the next guy. So it was a good camp. Um, got to spend some time out here with the kids. That was good. Something they'll remember, something I'll remember. Because memories are all you have. And uh, figured out that heating a tent with a space heater isn't your best option. Probably already knew that, but we thought we'd try it anyway. Uh, the big buddy came in and saved us, saved the day, so that was good. Um, we're going to head home now and relax, so if you like what you see on this video, give us a thumbs up and a like, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.